one of the uh, programs that we have got with advanced technology is there's all kinds of creative things that are coming out uh, to help save lives and to help keep impaired drivers off the road. Uh, one si type of uh, technology is actually in, I believe it's Toyota in 2009, actually has a steering wheel. Over in Japan, they've had some very high profile cases of uh, drunk driving, and so they have developed a steering wheel that can actually detect from the palms of your hand if you're over a certain level of impairment uh, with alcohol, and it will act the same way as the ignition interlock program to where it will go in and stop the car from working. There's other devices out there that's got a horizontal gaze to once you're over a certain level of impairment, your eye will actually jitter. It can detect things like that. Uh, there's another device that actually the patent holder actually lives here in North Carolina. Uh, he was a retired law enforcement officer and he had seen so many crashes of teenagers over and over again. And when his son became a teenager, he kept telling him, wear your seatbelt, wear your seatbelt, wear your seatbelt. And he continued, would not wear his seatbelt. So he invented a device. He told his son he's going to go change the oil and, you know, do a whole lube job on the car and everything. His son's like, hey, I'm going to get it for free. Great. He went and put this device on his car. If his son, or as it's available now, does not have their seat belt on, this device will cause the radio in the car to not work. I don't know too many teenagers that's going to ride in a car without a radio, and I've heard there's other technology out there, too, that will uh, make it to where an iPod won't work. It'll scramble an iPod, too. So trying to get them to wear their seat belts, and a lot of people are like, why are seat belts? Uh, why is that uh, one of your programs that you're focusing on? Eighty percent of the people that are killed in a traffic-related alcohol crash do not have their seat belts on. And so if we can do that, that's going to make a big effect on bringing those numbers down as well. But all kinds of technology we actually had last year for the first time in New Mexico, a technology summit. Uh, those are just a, a couple of the examples, but there's a lot of great programs out there that are going to be able to, to save lives.